want to. Well, the best plan for the state is to prepare to as much as humanly possible bring back the people of Kaduna State in one collective lot. Let peace be our watchword. And with that peace, you have to think of the best way to redistribute resources fairly. When you talk of fair play, you certainly bring in the concept of equity in running the affairs of government within the state. These, little as they sound, are part of the issues bedeviling our state today. Collection, channeling and redistribution of resources, fair distribution of such resources, and as much as possible carrying our people along. Within the polity, one very important issue is carrying the people along in whatever decisions government intend to make. Part of what we have seen, the fallout, a lack of support for this current government is to do with the inability of the government to carry along fairly the people around the state with their diverse culture, religion, and tribes. This will form definitely part of our focus in bringing back our polity into one indivisible lot. Simple. I have always said politics is about the people. Politics cannot divulge away from the people. We have decided to come here to make Zanguan Kataf a center to call, like you have seen, the representation of these 11 local governments in this very seated hall. We feel there is something common about these 11 local governments. We feel there is a single aspiration the people of these 11 local governments share. We feel that we could collect them, talk to them, listen to them, and you will see that the handwriting will clearly spell one directional movement. The debt of 34 billion which I spoke about is just a tip of the iceberg. It is just to do with what the state government today is owing as regards pensions of people or workers who have been laid off unusually or who have retired in the service or from the service of the state. In one single go, in one small area, the state government is owing in pensions alone, not in local loans, not in foreign loans. It's just in one segment of our government that the government is owing 34 billion naira against the backdrop of payment of entitlements and pensions of the people that has been scattered around our state. So it is not to do with the debt profile per se. It is only to do with such social welfare issue as simple as pensions that people pick as stipends monthly and their own gratuity.
to be able to recollect their lives back in one park. Simple. You don't build economy by loans. So that cannot be true. Loans are intended to serve as support packages in rebuilding policies of any economy. Therefore, he cannot carry a loan of such whooping amount of $350 million to say it is because he wants to rebuild the economy. What happened to the economy? What happened in the two and a half, three years he has been in service to the people? What happened to the billions and billions of Naira collected? Where did we see them? You passed through Nasarawa, Kefi, came into the first local government in Kaduna State, which is Jaba local government, you stepped into Jama'a local government, you came into Kaura local government, and you are now here in Zangwan Katab local government. What did you see? You saw our roads. Where is the money? What, what has been committed in doing uh, uh, what is supposed to be done? At the last year of any administration, if anybody is going to go and look for a loan of $350 million, that government is insincere. It's insincere. The money is not intended for the welfare of the people. The money was intended for something else. And we have proven that through the detailed breakdown of drawdown of the so-called loan that has been terminated. There are various areas that has been earmarked for drawdown, most of which has nothing to do with infrastructure or the general welfare of our people. We have proven that. So I think we have gone beyond that. In fact, what we are now doing and what we are trying to do is to galvanize support by the people who has brought in this government thinking it is a responsible government to find an alternative responsible government come 2019. The people, power of the people, and that is what politics is all about. It was the same power of the people that was harnessed, channeled, assembled, and we were able to set aside the former PDP government. And now the same power of the people will be harnessed, channeled, assembled to dismantle this irresponsible government. Thank you. Thank you.